The Dow gauge system of gauging is built around two comparator units, the Model 10 Dow gauge bench comparator and the TACOMP stub, the handheld unit. Both of these gauges accommodate the same special tooling, that is the tooling that threads in the end of the gauge to receive the customer's part that's going to be checked. The Dow gauge is a fairly simple uh, comparator that has been around for a number of years. It features a hardened and ground one-to-one -one lever that's in the gauge that transfers the motion from the gauge pin in the stage set to the indicator pin which contacts a dial indicator that has mounted on the indicator post. The indicator post can be adjusted up and down for setting the gauge to zero and the special tooling threads in this part of the Dow gauge. To demonstrate the Dow gauge, we will take an example where a customer has requested that we design and build tooling to check a dimensional characteristic, a depth to a counter bore in this diesel injector part. The depth is given from the face of the part down to the bottom of a small counter bore. Here we have designed at Dow Gauge a special stage set that receives the customer's part and duplicates the, the piloting feature on the inside of the part. The special stage set is threaded into the Dow Gauge base. locked and tightened in position and the gauge is set to zero with a setting master that has been designed to replicate the counterbore depth in the part that's being checked. In this case uh, the part is being checked to a tolerance of plus or minus two thousands. The setting master is placed on the Dow gauge, depressed and the indicator on the gauge on the post is adjusted up and locked at zero. This final adjustment is made on the indicator bezel. The indicator is locked at zero. Okay. To prevent more than one revolution of, uh, on the dial indicator, the Dow gauge is equipped with an adjustable stop. And this stop can be adjusted to limit the travel of the lever and thus limit the number of revolutions on an indicator. In this case, we're going to limit the travel on the indicator to one revolution past zero. So we do that by adjusting the ad adjustable stop Tightening that down so that the indicator is only allowed one half revolution past zero. This prevents an override and a, and a faulty reading uh, of, a, of, a, of the zero. Now the gauge is set to receive the customer's part and the customer now can check these parts at the rate of several hundred parts per hour. Placing them on the gauge, taking the reading, and in this case these parts are well within the allowable tolerance of plus or minus 2,000.